Oh, I got something. First fish of the day. What is it? Oh, it's a crappie. Oh my gosh, guys. Guys, I haven't got a crappie in so long. Oh my God, I'm so happy about that. It's another crappie, guys. Oh, it's a slightly bigger one. Crappie? That's another crappie, guys. What's up, guys and girls? Welcome back to the Casking Channel. I'm the Hunter Fisher. I'm bringing you a new segment, Hooked Up With Hunter, where today, guys and girls, I'm gonna tell you guys what is the best combo, the best casting combo for bass that you can get for about $100. Now, if you guys wanna figure out what reel and what rod I'm talking about today, stay tuned for the rest of the video. Let's get to it. All right, guys and girls, we're out of the spot, getting ready to fish. We're gonna do some fishing today, see what we can get into. Hopefully, I just saw a huge wake over in the distance, so I'm already excited. The combo I'm talking about today is the Cast King Spartacus 2 with the Cast King Perigee 2 rod. And this reel is actually split up with the Cast King uh, fluorocarbon, that's the 100% fluorocarbon, and a 15 pound diameter. Now, this rig can really do everything you want to do for all types of bass fishing, as long as it's not top water. Just really, you could switch that out with braid and you'll be able to do top water and things of the sort, but mainly, this is a combo meant for throwing around like weightless soft plastics with ease. I was already cast, I was already took a few casts with this setup and I've gotten a pretty good distance and pretty good accuracy with throwing weightless soft plastic, which is usually difficult for a bait caster. So if you guys are looking for a good Texas rig jig, pretty much all around combo, it's in the seven foot medium heavy Perigee rod loadout. And it's also in the right hand loadout for me is what I'm using for the bait caster. So overall, I really like it. I think it's a great little rod and real combo, but hopefully we can get a fish today on it. If not, I'll probably talk more in depth about it on the water today, give you guys some casting demonstration and whatnot, things like that. I need to stop talking. I want to get to fishing. I'll see you guys on the water and on the GoPro. All right, guys, we are heading out for the day. Um, I didn't get, catch any fish on the new Cast King combo right there, the one that's great for all around bass fishing. Ironically enough, the, the biggest bass we caught was on that, the Cast King Zephyr, actually. So, but we caught one bass all day. Yeah, and not micro, micro, micro. Yeah, it was like maybe three inches if it was a little bit fuller. Uh, but we caught tons of different species today on stuff like the Cast King Resolute Rods, the Cast King Zephyr. But mainly the, what I was talking about today is the best all around bass loadout, which is about a seven foot medium heavy with just any old bait caster, at least in the seven speed, I would say. And I would say it's probably a good just all around combo you can use from everything to Texas rigs, jigs, chatter baits, all of it. And you really don't need to worry about making it more complicated than it needs to be. I could probably dumb down if you want to get more like intricate with the combos you want, I could probably dumb it down to seven six heavy, seven foot medium heavy, and like a six nine six nine medium is what I would like dumb it down to. And I don't know if I'd use fluorocarbon on all of them because fluorocarbon, it's good, but it has its place. I would say if you can learn how to use braid to leader and essentially add that to your fishing skill list, you will essentially have a much better experience uh, trying to get what kind of loadouts you want put together more efficiently in the future. So if you guys want to go check out all the products that I talked about here today in the video. Go check them out down below, but I'm gonna run up some footage of me just catching a bunch of crappie and flyer and stuff today. Oh, I got something. Let's go guys, first fish of the day. I got something. What is it? Oh, it's a crappie. Oh my gosh, guys. We have the first one on the board and it's a crappie. That's so sick. That's so sick, freaking guys. I haven't got a crappie in so long. Oh my God, I'm so happy about that. Heck yeah. That's so dope, guys. So this is the first fish of the day. So, ah, these schooling fish that I'm seeing are crappie. That's so sick. I gotta take a picture of that with the jig in his mouth. It's a little tiny crappie, but he's so cute. Let's see if we can find some big old boys. Heck yeah, guys. First fish of the day. That is awesome. I would have never guessed crappie were in here. That's actually kind of insane. We can throw those those guys back, but these guys, dude, those crappie are like clean. They don't, they aren't slimy like most crappie are, or mostly they aren't. But like, holy crap, that's so cool. I'm catching crappie. Let's freaking go, boys. Let's go, guys. Didn't hype about that. Let me turn the drag down because these fish aren't that big. Oh, dude, there's bass here too. They're blowing up on bait over there. Let's freaking go, dude. Okay, I turned on the drag down a little bit too hard. What is this, dude? Is that another crappie? Come on, get out of that grass. It's another crappie, guys. Oh, it's a slightly bigger one. Let's go, guys. A slightly bigger crappie. 
dude that is so cool and these fish are extremely cold so this is like prime crappie area that's so sick guys let them go let them grow baby oh my gosh guys if you guys just noticed i got stuck in the grass there in that situation the advantage of using braided fishing line there there is no way i would have gotten that fish out of that with like four pound mono <laughs> and this is equivalent to like two pound right here on this eight pound and that's so sick oh there's another one guys he's getting in that grass let's go guys crappie that's another crappie guys dude let's freaking go guys dude this is awesome this is so awesome that we're getting on crappie like this let's go guys that's so sick that's another fish to count there's like a huge school of crappie right there guys that's so sick i wonder if there's an easier way to get to them from here that i can find I'm trying to see if there's like a better trail to walk down let me see if i can walk over here it's like there's a good angle but like where i'm at but like it's just not like as good of an angle let's see if oh this will be better heck yeah just gotta be careful about walking this high grass guys with shorts and there's ticks and there's snakes and there's everything so this looks like a good a better spot to be in i haven't been able to cast up in this corner yet so there might be bigger fish where all those baits like washing up into oh i just have one he's paper mouse man I had one for a second there, but he'd like dropped it or something. These crappie are fighting hard, dude. Oh, it's a bigger one. Oh, dude. Oh my God. Dude, that's a freaking huge bluegill. Oh my God, that's a giant bluegill. Oh my freaking God, I've got to measure that, dude. Oh my gosh, guys. Huge bluegill. That's so sick. Well, not huge bluegill. That's like average Florida gill right there. I'm just kidding. That's not average Florida gill. That's a, dude, that's a massive bluegill. <laughs> Let's freaking go, guys. Right about there is where they've been sitting. Is that a bigger one that looks like a bigger one to me i think it's bigger we're getting there we're getting bigger sizes what yeah it's way down here That's a crappie. Dude, let's go. <laughs> dude, that's so sick. <laughs> yes, dude. A flyer. And Taylor just caught like a good flyer, like bigger than this one. I think I showed it on video, but it's about the same. Was it about the same size? Oh, uh, maybe just a little bigger. Yeah, yours is probably bigger. But this is a flyer perch guy, or flyer brim, flyer brim. But it looks a lot like a crappie. But what's the way you know it's a flyer brim for sure is you look at this line on their eye. I don't know if you can you guys see can see it on the eye right there. There's a line right there that goes straight through the flyer perch. Uh, and these guys feed on flies. You, you, we keep seeing surfacing bait or surfacing fish. If it's minnows and then a surfacing fish, that's crappie. If it's a fly and then a surfacing fish, it's this guy. Crappie. On the EPF swim, baby. Bro, he is hanging on by like a thread. 
these paper mouse bro i was like saying in my video the whole time about these fish that were picking me up and putting me down they were just paper mouth crappie you got another one yeah. bro we were on them for... oh, i've seen smaller bro Honestly, key to getting bit right here, cast, let it sink, slow roll. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. See you next time on the Cast Keen channel.